Hello and welcome. My name is Jennifer Dixon, coach here with Fitter. In today's video, we are going to do a super quick, gentle stretching class that will hopefully help you unwind and get ready for a great night's sleep. But before we do, make sure you hit like and you subscribe to this channel. All right, so before we get started, make sure that you have a kind of a clear spot. It doesn't have to be perfect. And just know that you don't need any props. If you don't have a yoga mat, that's okay. You can actually do all of these stretches from the comfort of your own bed. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be on our hands and knees. This is called tabletop position. And I will demonstrate our very first stretching exercise. It's called, it's, it's a combo move called moving through cat and cow. The first one is where you inhale, you drop your belly. And then you exhale round through the spine. There's your cat. Would you like to join me? All right, let's do this for three. Inhale, drop the belly, looking up. Exhale, round through the spine, looking down. That's one. Inhale, drop the belly, looking up. Exhale, round through the spine, looking down. Last one. Inhale, drop the belly, looking up. Exhale, round through the spine, looking down. Getting those kinks out of the spine. Now we're going to sit back. Bring those hips towards our heels, extend those arms out long and come to a child's pose, forehead down to the mat, and just breathe here. Two more breaths. One more. Beautiful. Inhale, come back up through tabletop. Shift your feet back and let's come down to our bellies. We're going to do a pec stretch to help us get across the front of our chest and into our shoulders, maybe even the biceps. So you can watch as I demonstrate this left side first. Send your left arm out long, 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 long out to a T. Use your right hand to push your feet up. Right foot comes up and it sets down on the ground on the outside of that left leg. Let your left ear fall to the mat. If you want, you can grab a pillow, but as you can see, I don't need it. And then we're going to hold that for five counts. You ready? Okay. Extend that left arm out long. It's wide, wide, wide like a T. Use your right hand to help push you up and over. We're going to let that left ear be heavy onto the mat as we hold this nice twist with chest opening for another three breaths. One more. Beautiful. Come back to your belly. Take your right arm out long and then shift over towards your right side. job. Come back to your belly. And now we're going to slide those hips back towards our heels. Bring your knees into your chest. One more child's pose just to stretch out that back for three breaths. From here, we're going to slide our hips up as we push our bodies up and come down to a seated position. Now we're going to start to get into the side body and the hips, two areas that can kind of tighten up along with our chest and shoulders for, from stress and from sitting too much. So we're going to do a pose. It's kind of a Western pose, but it still feels pretty good. We like to call it banana asana. I'll demonstrate it first and then you can join me. You start out all the way down on your back. 
you lengthen your arms out long and overhead in opposite direction of your feet. Take your arms clasped over towards the right. Bring your legs together like a mermaid and take your legs over towards the right. So effectively, we're making a banana shape with our body. We're gonna hold this for about five counts. You ready? So let's walk those arms over towards the right. Walk those legs over towards the right. If you're feeling really froggy, you can cross the left foot over the right and hold this here for another four breaths. Bring those feet back towards center. Bring the body back towards the center. And now let's do that on the other side. Left hand, both hands rather, go over towards the left. Slide the left foot over to the left and bring the right one to meet it, channeling your inner little mermaid, making this beautiful banana pose with your body. If we want, you can cross that right leg over the left just to intensify this a bit. Holding it here, another four breaths. Releasing this pose, taking your body back towards this long, long position. Then bring both knees into your chest, give them a squeeze. This is a low back stretch, often called wind removing pose. Now we're going to extend that left leg out long, bringing that right knee into your chest. left knee bending it left foot comes to the mat and cross that right foot over it so this is called supine pigeon if you want to you can stay right here but if you want to juice it up check out this posture you're going to bring your left knee into your chest slide your hands through the little triangle that you made with that crossed right leg over left and bring the left knee into your chest now, if you want, you can join me and we're going to hold this for five breaths. So inhale, maybe bring that left knee up if you'd like. Use your right elbow to push that right knee away. Four more breaths. this left foot down to the mat right foot down to the mat extend that right leg out long and bring this left knee into your chest give it a squeeze holding this here for five breaths Bend that right knee, bring that right foot to the mat, cross the left leg over the right. You can stay right here for this left side pigeon, or you can bend that right knee a little more, bring it up towards your chest and hold this posture for five breaths. Really trying to slow down your breathing. this posture extend those legs out feet 
reaching in the opposite direction of the hands as they reach up and overhead. Long body stretch. And now let's do a little mindful relaxation. So we're going to take those hands down to your side, palms up. Rotate those shoulders down and away. Maybe shimmy, shimmy, shimmy those shoulder blades closer together. And then let's do a little body scan. Wiggle your toes and then relax them. Wiggle your ankles and your knees and then relax. Press that low back into the mat and then relax. And let the back of your head get really heavy. Let the thoughts drift by like white puppy clouds. And with each exhale, release something that does not serve you today. so much for joining me in today's practice. I hope you are leaving this session feeling better than when you started it. Again, my name is Jennifer Dixon, coach with Fitter, and I do hope you will join us for the next session. So be sure to hit subscribe to this channel. Take care. Go in peace. Namaste.